Do you guys have any final thoughts? Like, yeah. from the whole experience? Yeah, how do you feel? She likes this therapy. Right? <laughs> right? <laughs> we invited young South African men to share their understanding of what it truly means to be a man in this day and age. Deconstructing masculinity and manhood through honest conversation, face to face, man to man. Alright, let's go. <laughs> uh, what does being a man mean to you? Um, being a man basically, like to me, it, it genuinely means like being a provider and being there for the people around you. Basically, everything that my dad has told me thus far. Um, getting their bacon, so to speak. Yeah. yeah, that's basically what being a man is about. Yeah. And for you? Uh, actually, I think I'm just going to continue what you said. I think uh, being a man, like now, we have to be more than like our dads, you know. Like as much as it was not because it's been around the place, uh, we have to one up them. Especially like in terms of, uh, how do I put it, being expressive about things. Like you know you're talking okay, about yeah, holding things in. But you wouldn't know. Come on, like, yeah, 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 Next one. <laughs> <Where are they? laughs> it's questions are hard. <laughs> um, okay, uh, masculinity is often seen as something that must be earned or proven. Can you share a moment in your life when you had to prove that you were a man or for a moment your man was uh, questioned? Hmm. Like, yo, I thought, um, like, I can't think of it. I can't think of any moment right now. But, um, I think something like very similar to that, yeah. where I feel like I, as a man of my masculinity, was basically questioned was when and it, I was in this situation. I really like this specific girl, oh. yeah. and because of my finan my financial situation at that thing, my financial situation at that particular time, I was she really just wouldn't take me seriously. Yeah, I felt like yo, I felt like I. You know, I, I came really short when it when it comes to being a man. I didn't sure, sure. I didn't fulfill, fulfill that specific part of my role as a man. Yeah, yeah. You know, so yeah, that's that's basically about it. And it's just that and other cases where this where a similar thing has happened. Different girls, I guess. Ah, it does happen. It really does. It does happen. Sorry. Are you? Ah, uh, yeah, man, you. Around the time, like, and not even like in a romantic sense. Like, I just think in terms of like uh, towards family, like mm -hmm. you know, yeah, like mm -hmm. those responsibilities. Yeah, yeah, I just like, like, like I don't do it. I don't do enough. You know, mm -hmm. it's like versus the opportunities I've been granted, like, yeah. and the privileges I've been granted, but I don't do enough. Yeah. Especially towards like, my mom, siblings. I mean, I could be better. Yeah, that's just a responsibility yeah. you feel. It's like, and you know, like how do I put? As much as it's not said, there's there's pressure on you, man. Like yeah, everyone's it's, looking, it's looking to you. It's like an unwritten rule. Yeah, exactly. Kind of thing. You have exactly. to. You have to. Yeah. To age. Especially since you're like the first first boy. Yeah, man. Yeah. 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 Tricky thing. That's tough. Um. How do you feel about your relationship with your father? Okay. Um. That's, well, like, I mean, I'm so, I, I think, relatively speaking, like, I'm, I'm yeah. really blessed. Like, yeah. You know, Word. ever since I think I got to varsity, my dad and I have been, we've had ups and downs, like, mm -hmm. serious ups and downs, but we're cool for the most part now. We talk, you know, I can get a beer with my dad, and I'm, like, super blessed in that yeah. sense. But, like, prior to that, it was just tricky, though, because, like... Very distant. Yeah, we just, like, we'd be in the same house, but... Yeah. Went there, both of us, it's... Yeah, and I think it, it does have to do with that whole, uh, that emotional thing we're talking about regarding oh, yeah. the females. Yeah, it has to do with that. Can't show it. Can't show you that emotion. You know, you know. I think I'm, I'm a rock. rock. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a rock. <laughs> I'm a rock, you know, man. What's up? Mm, man, I won't lie. Like, me and my dad are pretty dope. Like, our relationship is pretty amazing. Um, with regards to, like, the emotional aspect of things, my dad has never been the type of person to hold back. You know, like he'll tell you how he feels. Yes. Yeah. He doesn't really hide the way he feels about anything, and he kind of encourages yeah, emotion, because he understands. And at the end of the day, he's just that kind of person. Uh, 
is not is not about being pretentious for the sake of society or anything like that. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, guess that's what's up. Lucky. Is it oh, go, I'll, I'll, go, let me just go try since fine. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> if you could change one thing about yourself, what would it be and why? There's a lot. There's a lot. Um, oh, what would it be and why? Oh, okay. I think, uh, like, how, okay, I'm going to say two, like, one, how impulsive I am about things. I feel like it, it hinders me a lot. Yeah. Not just at school, just in my life in general. And I think how extreme I'm about things. Whenever like I do something, it's like to the max, max, max. Yes. Yeah. A lot of time it's to my detriment, you know. <laughs> to do my detriment. Uh yeah, I think that's what it'd be. Oh and why? Uh why man it's, it's breaking me back down. It's holding me back. You mm. know. So it's your piece. Yeah, 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 man. You? Um for me, it's 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 really it's really petty, basically. But like, as you know, as you know, like I don't know. I think I've told you uh, for a large part of my life, like since I was a kid, I've always had like self esteem issues, yeah. and all of these self esteem issues I've always had kind of come down to one thing. You know, it's the hairline. Game. <laughs> so if I could change anything about me, <laughs> wow, <Well, laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Dog, I want to fade. So like you know, it's a bit overrated. Yeah, but now honestly, I think that's basically one of the things, and basically because it's made me feel like, you know, that's I wasn't generally accepted. But yeah, of course, I'm done. Conditioning. Good. I'm stronger now. You know what I am now? Cause yeah, no. Oh, I'm vulnerable. <laughs> what are you saying? What do you mean? <laughs> mm. oh, okay. What is an insecurity you've learned to overcome, and perhaps? You will learn to know. Back to it again. The <laughs> hairline game. It's that. Definitely that. And I'd say one of the insecurity I have. Yeah, like it's major. I think. Just the whole it's not it's not really an insecurity. It's a weakness I feel like I have. Yeah. yeah. But I'm kind of insecure about it. Sure. Just I, I I have a really hard time saying no to this. Yeah, like that's and it's it's something that people can easily take advantage of. And I feel like if I could change that and this hairline I'd be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Ten but tell me Ten. <laughs> Ten. <laughs> and you Oh it would be Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Uh, me I think at the stage, not now anymore, but like Probably like uh, my complexion. Oh, and yeah. you have overcome that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As in, like, I For really real. didn't like it at the stage. Yeah. And then, you know, overcame that. Especially now, and it's helping that, you know, that's going to be in fashion. Yeah, you know? fashion. <laughs> you're the in thing now, bro. Yeah, you know. It's you and Olive. Oh. <laughs> yeah. You go crazy. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I've really learned to, um, to love that about myself. Yeah. And that's the thing. You can't be ashamed about something that you're born with. In fact, you're born with it, you can't change yeah. it. And the moment you love it, 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 doesn't, it doesn't really hinder you anymore. Yeah, no one can take it from you. Yeah. Right, right. Because yeah. I remember, like, for a while, I just wouldn't go to campus without a hat on. Just, yeah, you, know, you know, you know. <laughs> you remember that. Yeah, so, <laughs> it's a thing. It's a thing. At this, point of your, at this point in your life, what is the most important lesson you've learned so far? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. I think probably like it's just gonna sound like coldish, but just to let go of things, like, be it people, uh, things that that like upset you. Oh okay. yeah, it's anything, not healthy to hold. Just let yeah, it go. Anything that takes your peace away from you. Yeah, just just be unapologetic about it. Yeah. Hey, you have to choose yourself, man. You really have to choose yourself. Always choose. Things. Always choose you. Yeah. Nah, I feel you. And yeah. that's the thing, I think. A lot of us. Okay, I think especially in uh, in black families, like, you're taught, like, I think you're taught to be over generous, for example, mm -hmm. or to be over whatever, you know. And you don't really take time to take care of yourself. 
Like you do things for people. Yeah, you do things for yourself as well. Yeah, you must yeah. put everyone else first. Yeah. And the problem is that change the Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and the problem is that in society, man, other people aren't, aren't raised like that, so they take yeah. advantage of it. True. I mean, how can you end up starving to help someone who's got but not enough? Mm-hmm. Like free to And I understand what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For me, like mm, at this stage, and it's, I think it's a lesson I really learned this year, right? Yeah. Like, at some point, you just have to step up as a human being. True. That's that's just it. Like you just really have to step up because yeah. I feel like a lot of the time, like you were saying, with the opportunities that opportunities that you haven't taken, mm-hmm. um, sometimes we just have to like accept that it's our responsibility to take those True. opportunities. Because yeah. I feel like, especially at the age that we're at, we're only starting to realize that a lot of the things that we want to happen. Are things that we're gonna have to make happen. Like now. Like now. Because it's when you have energy. Yeah, yeah. It's when you have energy. After this, it's tricky. It's tricky. Because <laughs> <It's laughs> you end up being 30 and wish it, I wish I had started. I wish I had done that. I wish I had done you know, yeah. So, yeah, it's my responsibility to make sure that everything I want to see happen in my life yeah. happens. Yo, guys, this is Dalu. This is Onetu. Um, if you guys like this video, please like, comment, or subscribe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right there. Right there. You and know. to be part of the notification gang, <laughs> hit that notification bell! <laughs>